The ocean is teeming with deadly fish, from sharks to stonefish, and you're probably quite aware of these dangers whenever you go to the beach. However, you're probably not as aware of the toothy fish that lurks in rivers and lakes around the world. Sometimes we like to think of freshwater places like our favorite ponds and streams as being safe, free from the kind of bizarre and dangerous animals one expects to find in the ocean depths. But the deep sea isn't the only place you can find terrifying aquatic creatures. Some of the world's most terrifying creatures can be found right in your favorite freshwater spots. Here we've compiled a list of the deadliest freshwater animals in the world. Would you dare to dive in? Red Piranha The red-bellied piranha, also known as the red piranha, is a species of piranha native to South America, found in the Amazon, Paraguay, Piranha, and Esquibo basins, as well as coastal rivers of northeastern Brazil. This fish is locally abundant in its freshwater habitat. They are omnivorous foragers and feed on insects, worms, crustaceans, and fish. They are not a migratory species but do travel to seek out conditions conducive to breeding and spawning during periods of increased rainfall. Red-bellied piranhas often travel in shoals as predatory defense, but rarely exhibit group hunting behavior. Acoustic communication is common and is sometimes exhibited along with aggressive behaviors. Through media influence, the red-bellied piranha has developed a reputation as a ferocious predator, though this is not actually the case. They are a popular aquarium fish. Black Cayman Black Cayman is like an alligator shake on steroids. It can grow up to 6 meters in size and has larger bones and a more weighty skull than that of the Nile crocodile. In Amazonian waters, it is at the top of the food chain. This means that they mostly rain in rivers, eat almost anything, what can get in their teeth including perch, piranha, monkeys, anacondas, and deer. And of course, they can attack people, what happens periodically. Early in 2010, biologist Dis Nishimura was attacked by a caiman when cleaning fish on their boathouse. And although she managed to fend him off, she lost one of her legs. This particular caiman for nine months was waiting for her under the float house, apparently waiting for the moment to strike. Giant Anaconda Continuing the theme about gigantic reptiles, we should remember about the biggest snake in the world living in the Amazon, Anaconda. Although reticulated pythons are actually considered by long snakes, green anacondas are much harder, females generally larger than their males, and is able to grow up to 9 meters, more than 29 feet in length, to gain a weight of 250 kilograms, 550 pounds, and achieve 30 centimeters, 12 inches in diameter. It's not a poisonous snake, but instead of poison, they rely on their enormous muscle strength to compress a stranglehold and choke their prey, among which you can find a capybara, caiman, deer, and even jaguar. She likes shallow water, which allows her to secretly sneak up on its prey. Generally, these snakes inhabit tributaries of the Amazon and not in the main channel of the river. Arapaima Arapaima, according to the IFGA world record, is the largest fish. Live in ponds. Arapama, also known as Hiruku or Peishi, is a giant carnivorous fish living in the Amazon River and nearby lakes. Being dotted with armored scales, they are not worried because they live in the water saturated piranhas, since they're not quite agile predators that eat the fish and accidentally passing birds. Generally, Arapaima are near the surface because they need to breathe ordinary air and also to obtain oxygen from water through its gills. They make a characteristic cough when appear on the surface. The proximity of Arapaima to the surface of water makes it vulnerable to human hunters, which can easily attack with harpoons. Some indigenous communities consume the meat and the language of Arapaima, turning them into jewelry and other items. Arapaima grow 2.6 meter size and gaining weight over 200 pounds. These fish are so dangerous, even their mouth is studded with teeth.
The Giant Otter The name itself says about them. These animals are very large and it's a really big otter. They are the longest representatives of 13 types of otters. Adult males in length, from head to end to tail, grow up to 2 meters, more than 6 feet. It is difficult to distinguish between male and female giant otters because there is no fundamental difference in size of head or body. This species can produce up to 9 different sounds and can sound very loud. Mainly their diet consists of crabs and fish, which they catch in the composition of family groups from 2 to 7 individuals. And by the end of the day, they are able to eat up to 9 pounds of seafood. Not stare at their cute faces, they are more deserving than others to be on this list of animals, as it was noticed in groups they can kill and eat anacondas. They are also able to give a serious rebuff caiman. One day noticed a family of otters who ate a 1.5 meter 5 foot caiman. It took them approximately 45 minutes, although their numbers are decreasing, for the most part due to human activities. They are one of the most advanced predators in the rainforest of the Amazon. Candiro Amazon is refuge not only for giant, but for little creatures, which scare people because of the widespread rumors. Candiro are small parasitic freshwater catfish, known for the fact they supposedly get into the urethra of men, pissing in a river. Nonetheless, Candiro prefer other fish, with spikes attached on the side of the gills and larger individuals feeding on the blood of his master. Electric Eel The electric eel is not actually an eel, by the way. It gets its name from the way it attacks and kills its predators and prey. Its body contains organs filled with nearly 6,000 electrolytes that store electricity like small batteries. When something, like say a human, gets close, the not actually an eel will discharge volts of electricity and shock the intruder. Most of the disappearances was in the Amazon associated with acne and injected their victims in a state of shock and left them to drown in the river. Fortunately, this kind of animal tends to stick to the diet consisting of amphibians, fish, small mammals, and birds. They find their prey by emitting their electrolyte small 10-volt electric shocks after you stun or kill them. Snakehead Snakeheads are often feared in the West, where populations of aggressive fish have occasionally taken root as invasive species. After a fisherman found a northern snakehead, China Argus, in a pond in Maryland, it caused a media sensation. Biologists warned that the large freshwater fish could readily become established in North America, where it could wreak havoc on native ecosystems. The ferocious top-level predators can reach a length of 3 feet 1 meter. They prey on invertebrates, frogs, and smaller fish, though they are known to attack anything moving when they are breeding. Snakeheads can breathe air and survive out of water for up to 4 days. They can survive much longer periods of drought by burrowing into the mud. Several species of the fish are native to much of Asia, where they are commonly caught and are prized for the dinner table. They are also frequently kept as aquarium fish and are noted for their aggressive behavior. Matamata Mata 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 is a freshwater turtle that inhabits the Amazon and Orinoco basins in South America. The bizarre turtles are entirely aquatic, although they prefer shallow, stagnant water where they can easily reach their head out of the water to breathe. The Mata Mata can grow quite large, up to 33 pounds, 15 kilograms. Mata Mata are fairly sensitive to water quality, both in captivity and in the wild, so they can be harmed by pollutants. Vampire Fish The vampire fish is a nickname for the payara, an abundant game fish found in the Amazon basin. While this large, 1.3 to 3 foot fish does not suck the blood of its prey, its 6 inch long fangs which protrude from its undershot jaw result in a face only a payara mother could love. In recent years, the payara has gained popularity as an occupant in large aggressive freshwater aquariums. Live goldfish are among this fangy predator's favorite prey. Consequently, aquarists are advised to select tank mates too big to fit inside this vampire's saber tooth maul. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and push that notification button to be the first who will see new awesome videos.